one election petition immediately if it's done on pro bono basis and all the seats done for Pakatan Rakyat are all done on pro bono basis, you have to put in a deposit of 10,000 ringgit towards cost and at least 5,000 ringgit for disbursements and filing fees, 15,000 ringgit per petition, per petition regardless of whether it's done or whether it's parliament. For filing fees and disbursements and, and all the court process, charges for court processes. Um, based on previous experience, um, there are 90% chance that your election petition will be struck off even before it goes to the uh, trial. Usually, election petitions are strike off at the preliminary objection stage. And when it is strike off, or should it go to trial and it, it, it fails, um, the court will award um, legal costs to your opponent. And the cheapest cost awarded so far, based on average, based on our study of previous cases, is about 30,000. So that's why on our estimate, one election petition, you must set aside 50,000 ringgit. Um, we forked out money from you know, the leadership pockets and whatever we have to pay for the first 15,000 for the filing today, tomorrow and the next day. Um, PKR will hold three fundraising events, one in KL on 28th of June, if I'm not mistaken, another one in Penang, another one in Johor, to raise for the balance, because all in all we need about 1 million ringgit. One, in fact, uh, with 25 petitions all together for, for um, Pakata, we need about 1.5 million. <laughs> 1 million for PKR. 1 million for PKR. So we have to raise about 1 million within one month. So this is just only PKR's fundraising? Because we bear the brunt, the bulk of it, um, <coughs> PKR takes the initiative to do fundraising. We will obviously speak to the other two parties and see how, because their financial burden is in the past has about uh, four parliamentary seats and the AP has only two, so no aspect as ours. So we will we take the lead to go on nationwide fundraising. Okay.